Oh God. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we are not. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> Happy Grateful Wednesday. Uh, and we okay. hope you're doing terrific where you're at. Uh, I'm here still trying to catch up on my pre show with uh, my amazing guest this morning. So, yes, this is another Gay Naked show with Dr. Aura. And today I have a past guest, one of my first guests on the show, and a dear, dear friend of mine, Dr. Fran Bob. Hopefully, What's going I said, on? What's no, going I said that correctly. But yeah, you got it. You got there, it. <laughs> I got it, right? If you're there, please make sure to share, like, comment, post questions if you have any for this amazing man, because I will ask him. So, welcome to the Get Naked Show, Dr. Frank God. It's my pleasure to have you here again in Naked Style. Can you please introduce yourself to our audience? Awesome, awesome. It is always a pleasure to be, be on your show. Uh, just the things you're doing in chiropractic, I'm loving them. I, I'm my gratitude. I appreciate you. Uh, I, love, I love your show. I love what you're doing. I follow it. I, I'm, I'm in gratitude just being here. I'm Dr. Vaught. I'm in Chicago. I'm with Evoke Chiropractic Coaching, uh, where we support uh, minorities in having a powerful impact with the presence of chiropractic so we can definitely change the health state of our country. So I, um, uh, I'm, I'm definitely glad to be here with you, um, and share some words. Woohoo! I love it. I love it. I know. <laughs> and I love your mission statement for evoke. It thank is you, beautiful. You, we you, definitely can, you. will change communities and families and, and towns and cities and, and, and countries it, through, through lifestyle health and then chiropractic. I think we have, we have the tools within our hands to, to help and empower people to have happier, healthier, much more fun lives because we were just saying that right before the show that you can have right. all the thoughts in the world you can have everything but if you don't have health you got nothing baby nothing, you got nothing, nothing. nothing but i love your mission i love you i know we have spoken on different <laughs> stages together it's always been and i yeah. always the one thing i always say can you please not put me after frank can you please, please don't do that to me? Either the before or around, after, the I don't want to be near him. <laughs> I don't want to be near. No, because he, he's that amazing on stage. It's just, it's just he kills everybody's thunder. So, but, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. But, yeah so let's get let's we're gonna get to work here because i i love i i love you and, and people know this but a lot of people don't know don't know what makes you this awesome and there's always in the naked naked show we always talk about how failures sometimes are our biggest blessings and our biggest push forwards and how it inspires to change the world even bigger so with that note i'm gonna ask you my first crazy crazy naked question and um, and let's see where this goes and this is not pre re, you know this is not re, pre-recorded or pre he doesn't even know what i'm gonna ask which is <laughs> sure and we have people who say love we love and appreciate you liam thank you for watching uh what's could going you on liam yeah, Dr. Lee, I'm in the naked house. We need to stop laughing. Yeah. Uh, tell me what is your biggest or most favorite failure? Wow. Oh, wow. Um, my most favorite failure. Um, oh, okay. Um, well, um, I, I would say within the realm of chiropractic, um one of the things that i i wanted to do or i, I believe that uh god graced me to do my, my coach was dr Schiffman, uh, and i thank god for him uh because he, he he's the one that 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 really uh thoroughly immersed me in the tick but I, I wanted to initially uh be able to have impact like uh he was doing in his office he was seeing like three four thousand a week something just ridiculous like that really serving and i said you know what what i can do is is I could do it in the aspect of I'll just have 10 offices and I'll see a thousand out of each office and we'll impact 10,000. And um, and just building those offices, building them, building them, building them, um, got to about five and realized that it wasn't wasn't fulfilling. I didn't feel like I was um, living in my purpose. Uh, I felt more like I was doing a bunch of work 
than I was serving. Um, so as I begin to digress, it, it began to uh, really begin to break me down. And I, it, it was it was um, it was sad because I felt like I, I wasn't I was supposed to be doing more for the profession, supposed to be doing more for humanity and the state of health in, in the country. And uh, then the vote came up. And um, and with my partners, Dr. Tipler and Dr. Everett, uh, one of the things that we wanted to see and what we begin to see is that in in uh, minority communities, underserved communities, uh, people weren't getting chiropractic and uh, crime was higher. Stress was higher. Uh, systemic diseases and disorders were higher. And we said, you know what, maybe if we can go in and spark uh in communities and support doctors all around the country um, and having uh, uh, practices that are that can go on and penetrate you know the, the psyche the mentality in these communities and help them have a higher state of health we could change the world and then we we, we formed evoke and now we're able to impact and empower doctors and students and really the biggest thing is is not just doing that but bringing a light to the needs in underserved minority communities, because I, I, I truly believe that's gonna be a huge part of supporting um, our country and unifying um, and, 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 and the economy increasing and boosting and the overall enjoy and enthusiasm and, and living life uh, together uh, with, in fellowship. So uh, I'm super excited about that. I'm super excited about the Evoke offices that are coming up and even our conference that, that's coming up that we, we're starting that process. So uh, my failure turned into one of the, it sparked something that could um, impact something globally. So yeah, right. You what you were saying is right on. Um, your, your, your biggest of breakdowns are often your, your biggest breakthroughs. So that I love that. And thank you for sharing that. That's always a question that people are like, step back on. I'm like, failures. But I think our failures are a blessing. And look at that. So thank you. Thank you for failing. Yeah. Thank you for failing at that. I'm so and, yeah, I know. I know. Hey. Hey, ask a successful person if you haven't failed. Probably they're not successful mm -hmm. at all. So mm -hmm. thank you so much for sharing that. And I, yeah, I can't wait to hear more of a book. And we're going to talk a little bit more about this conference that I'm speaking in. So I'm super excited. Hey, not, not, as excited first, not as excited as we are. Not as excited as we are. Yes, I get, yes, to, yes, I get yes. to be there. So mm -hmm. this is amazing. So on that note, because we're all hype here, if you had an opportunity to have a billboard on every city, what would the billboard say, Frank? Wow. Um, <laughs> wow. A billboard in every yes. city. Um, know who you are and who you are. Um, because once Woo! you know that, uh, you begin to take a lot better care of well, who gave you what you have. And that's your health, that's your strength, that's your vitality. Uh, that's your life. Um, I think oftentimes um, we need tiny little reminders and sometimes it could be just driving down the street. You know, we're driving to this job or this place or we're we're rushing to pick our kid up or we're we're thinking about the bill that we got in the mail or the, or the problem that we have today. But sometimes we can forget that uh, our, our father is, is, a king, is king of the world. And, uh, and trusting in him and not in our own ability, you know, we, we're truly unstoppable in what we can do. And, and we oftentimes are listening to the things that we hear on the media or the things that they show us on the media and the things that are going on within this country. But that's, uh, that's, what, that's what they want us to see. I think that if we really tap into our own innate, our God-given innate and, and our Father, God, that um, our, our lives could be glorious, but we need that reminder sometimes so everybody's amazing everybody's magnificent everybody has gifts and if you're here on the earth right now you got a purpose and um and oftentimes if we tap into that purpose and focus in that realm and not the more the physical you'd be surprised uh how amazing your life could be so i mean that's i think that's what i would have Woo! know who you are <laughs> and whose you are yes, i yes. love that let's, <laughs> let's, let's make that happen Frank. let's make that happen i want to put you <laughs> I sit on that 
know who you are and who's you are. I think I'm going to steal that. That's a perfect. <laughs> hey, it's, it's for you in every city in America on that billboard. There you go. <laughs> I, 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 I truly, I truly love that. It just, we get lost and because we get lost in the, in the media and in what's happening and we forget indeed who we are and where we come from and that we have the innate potential to heal inside of us because God put it there. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, every yeah. single day I go into my office and people are, you know, some people are still with fear, but they are seeking our care because they need it. They value it more than ever now. So it's yes. like great time yeah. to be a chiropractor people and they, they value, they are looking for healthcare. That's, the one good thing that has come out of this failure 2020 is that people are valuing yes. healthcare. So there is a blessing right there that we can yes. all see. There is they're starting to understand that that in order to boost your immune system, it's gonna take way more than a mask, and we're not gonna get in there. Right. Yeah. Thank you. We're not gonna go there. <laughs> no, anyhow, anyhow. But um, but yeah, because we got opinions, but um but no, it's going to take for you to really look within and see what you're doing because uh, we need to, we're stepping away as a society from this microwave healthcare that's not working. And it's, it's only giving us a season. That's why we have the statistics that we have. But uh, with that in mind, and I know you're such a powerful speaker and you have given so many great advice just before we got in, we were just talking. Um, what is the best advice you have been, you were given? And on the second side of that, what is the advice you wish you would have gotten? Um, the best advice uh, that I would give, that I've been given, the best mm -hmm. advice I've been given, um, <clears throat> I, when I was in, um, and I never forgot it, I always share it with my, my kids, I uh, share it with my staff, is uh, to have the things that others don't, you must be willing to do the things that others won't. Um, to have the things that others don't, you must be willing to do the things that others won't. Um, that, 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 that's magnitude that speaks in volumes. Um, I've oftentimes worked in, in an office. Well, I've always worked in an office. Uh, and um, I'll see uh, chiropractic patients that come in and, and uh, sometimes they'll be uh, overweight. They'll be 400 pounds. Um, they'll be... They'll be, they'll smell like urine. Uh, maybe they have problems with their bladder. Uh, you'll read, um, they, they've been scarred. Maybe they've been abused. Maybe they've been on drugs. They might be high right at that point. Um, everybody doesn't have uh, the affinity to uh, create love in their heart for that person and embrace them. Um, when we have to oftentimes look at people uh, from the aspect of a mirror because we are all the same, uh, because we all come from the same source uh, in the office. The minute that when you see someone and all you see is the, that God-given innate that's in them and how it needs to be released so they can have vitality, so they can have a life more abundantly, and so they can go and do their divine purpose, that's when your practice will explode. When you look at everybody, as a gift when you look at everybody for their gift and not for what you see in, in, the, in the physical and then the next thing with that um is sometimes it's okay to be uncomfortable it's okay to do things and be uncomfortable if you're doing it um from a place of authenticity integrity and being a servant um if you're giving in a way uh, and you're giving out your abundance, you will always be replenished because that's it's a law. It, it, it just happens. And sometimes we can oftentimes have a, a lack, uh, not from the, the pockets or the uh, uh, or, 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 or anything physical around us, but but a spiritual lack in the ability to be able to serve, love and give. Um, and when you start to really realize to, to, to have the things that others don't, you got to be willing to do the things that others won't. Sometimes that's not just in the doingness of things. It's, it's, it's in your mind. It's, it's how you're wired um, and to serve. And, and I truly believe that if you got a servant's heart, you know, you, you're going to be unstoppable and you'll be replenished at every point. And uh, what I wish that I would have heard, what I wish that... Um, I, I, I would have gotten a, a little bit earlier um, and applied it because I probably got it. Um, always inspect 
what you expect. Always inspect what you expect. Um, there's a, in the world, um, you know, the world is, a, is full of uh, lions in sheep clothing and, and, and lions that bear their teeth. <laughs> you know, so you got to be able to really go back and always check on the things that you want. Uh, eyes dotted t's crossed um at the same time not being scared to let go but always being at a stage or or a point of really being in a mode that you're looking for what you expect and not being in a state of acceptance for what you get Woo we, we got a lot of notes here. we got a lot of notes and you're definitely a servant i know you i had the opportunity to meet you in one of our mission trips right through car mission yes. oh yeah that was blast Absolutely. I love serving alongside, and I love uh, I love how you showed up, and we just uh, did did what we did on those mission trips. It was just amazing. Right. Yes, you never been on a mission trip? Definitely check it out. Our mission. Our mission was yes. the yes, best. Yes. Oh my god! We have something amazing planned for next year, yes. and we're only yes. gonna actually yes. we're only gonna take uh, veterans because it's gonna be. A uh, small oh, wow. you're going to do something big with uh, some of your donations, and so it's going to be special. I'm going to talk about that eventually, but um, I want to be a part of that too. I want to be, yeah, a part of that. I, I, like I, just, that. I love it. I love it. I have to tell you, <laughs> it just came to mind that I was like, My God, Frank, yes, how we served, how we did yes. things, how we got yes. uncomfortable, the people that um, we got to see you know? and help, and yeah. It's just so beautiful. Thanks. It gives you perspective Thanks. that you could never, right? Because now we're going through all this and and it's right. like yeah, we it gives you perspective because you've seen how the other side of the world lives, right? You've mm -hmm. seen the mm -hmm. need, you've seen you seen that that we cannot let ourselves be shut down by what's happening. We need to step up even taller for mm -hmm. the need that is there, the need that people need what we got, the minority definitely needs what we got. We need to be healthier. We need to bring awareness. We need to educate. We need to love. And uh, and I love you for that. But mm -hmm. but yes, I had to go into the car mission because I just brought an image of, of, of you serving on a mission trip. And I was like, yeah, that's right. Servanthood at its best. You have to, some people speak it, but some people do it. And that's the difference, right? You step with lions, keep clothing. I was thinking about that. I was like, so many people speak it, but very few do it. It's right. how you show up. So in that, what is the one thing that you do every day to keep you charged on, to keep you on purpose? I, I know a lot of successful people have different rituals and, and, um, and things that they do. What is the one thing that you are like, okay, this is my thing that I can never miss because this keeps me on point. It keeps me present. This keeps me away from all the BS that is happening in the world so I can go serve. Okay, so um, <clears throat> one of the things that um, that, I, that I, I, I do do um, every single morning, I, I, I to get my mind right um, with 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 serving. I um, I got believe it or not, I got a little a little. Uh, I listen to audio books, um, and one of the one of the things that I, I would do is I um, I always heard that uh, Solomon was the wisest man on the planet, and because of his wisdom he, he got wealth and I, and I wanted to have wisdom um so i started to just listen to a chapter every single morning uh in the car on my way to work uh before i go and it began to trans i've been doing it for about a year now and it began to trans uh form um my decision making um how i'm showing up how i'm acting um and and wisdom is is not a, a, a system or or, or a, a bunch of a bunch of knowledge okay wisdom is the application of knowledge oftentimes we know what to do you can ask anybody how you lose weight they can say well i exercise and i eat this and i lose weight but then you'll say oh okay you want to lose weight they say i can't you know and it's like it's the application of knowledge said knowledge without application is dead so, so I, I, I wanted wisdom. I, well, I want wisdom. I, I, I'm still looking for wisdom. I, I, I know that if, if I have wisdom, my children will be blessed. I know that if I have wisdom, my patients uh, will be blessed. I know that uh, if I have wisdom, uh, we'll be able to impact uh, the world. And so um, I think that 
in my uh, in my in my quest uh, for wisdom, um, I think that that has been the one of the biggest things that has been um, helpful for me, and it's free. It doesn't take anything, and um, but you do have to have an open heart and, and open ears uh, to, to 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 really be able to look at yourself and how you can constantly be improving um, if you're talking about improving your community, your world. Yep, it just starts with you, right? We right, cannot. Starts right with you. It starts with you. I would say, you know, an, a naked man cannot lend a shirt because he is naked. So if you Ooh. want to, Ooh. yeah, right? If you want Ooh. to, if you kind of yes. build yourself up first, if you want to uh, be able to make an impact in your life, you have to have some kind of a rich, something that you do every day that keeps you centered, that keeps you focused, that keeps you learning. Because we mm -hmm. are constant students. And this, we, we're talking about students that are graduating from chiropractic schools, right? Right, right, so, right, right. right. Like, but I just did something for like um, a sorority for Sherman's, uh, Sherman schools, um, the ladies, uh, the students that are graduating there, they have a sorority and I did something to impact them. And the biggest thing there was, I was like, you need to stay hungry for knowledge. Mm -hmm. Not because mm -hmm. you just graduated that you're going to stop learning. This is when you start, baby. This is when this you is start. Is this is when you really start. Yeah. Time. Stay humble and learn and yeah. learn because we never stop learning. The moment you stop learning and stop being open to new ideas, to new knowledge, you start dying somewhere inside and the cockiness is gonna just get in the way of your servanthood and you're just not gonna be raw, real and, and, and the success that you can be in your communities. So I just thought I mentioned that because yeah, that's real. we, that's, that's we that's never real. stop, never stop, stay hungry for knowledge. And, and this yeah. goes for all the students hearing us out there I mean, there's so much to learn, even though we were there. And I remember graduating and thinking I knew it all, too. So right, I right. of that fully naked uh, confession here. So mm -hmm. I've been guilty and, and I, I should have probably learned and associated and, and absorbed. But no, I thought I knew it all. And yeah, well, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm still learning. You know what? And, and, and it's funny that, that, that as you as you go on in, in, in this journey, this, this marathon of life, you you actually begin to see that the more that you thought you know is really the, you, the, the equivalent of what you really don't know. Uh, <laughs> you know, so but but that's the cool thing about it because you get to constantly be young. You get to constantly have a zest for life. You get to constantly be um um in, in a state of growth. And and they say you truly what a plant or a flower dies when it stops blooming. Not when the process of death, when it starts blooming, not when it, when it, when it, when it just withers over. So if you're not blooming, if you're not producing fruit, you know you're you're on the other end. And as long as you're producing fruit, baby, you're living. You're living. You're living. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, so for the people that are listening to us and or people that have struggled this year, because this year has brought a whole uh, a, a whole lot of challenges for <clears throat> for moms for business owners, for chiropractors, for just the general the general public, right? Everybody has mm -hmm. dealt with something. What would you say to those people? What will be your takeaway so far of this amazing 2020? And uh, what would you say to them so they can just shift? Because it does, it's, it's a shift. It's a mental shift. And, and just like you said, for you here in the audiobook, mentally shifts you and back into your purpose, back into why you were, you're still here. What, what the bigger impact you're going to make? Uh, what is the uncomfortable thing you're going to do that day? What is the humble thing that you're going to do that day? What is it that you need to learn to, mm -hmm. to, to train more, to teach more, to et cetera? We, mm -hmm. we all have those procedures. And I know because I've interviewed more than a hundred successful people. And I know that people have a pattern. So right, I right, right. The patterns. So, but what would you say? Because there's a lot of people down in the dumps. There's a lot of chiropractors that are, that ha are still not able to go back to practice. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. uh, you feel like a huge part of you has been taken away. There's a, a lot of moms that are struggling trying to homeschool their children and, and have to be at home and maybe have their own job that they have to log in. I know, mm -hmm. I know all the things because I have them in my office. But yeah. what is the advice? What would you tell these people? I would say, uh, number one, and I, I'm going to be honest, because uh, I was a little nervous 
at first uh, when this whole COVID thing came out um, and everybody was staying in their house and buying peanut butter and toilet paper and stuff like that. Like it just, it really, it, it, I, I, I didn't know what I was going to do um, at, at that point. Uh, the very the very first thing I would do is say to the doctors, pray, uh, pray authentically, uh, pray for what you want, uh, pray for manifestation of exactly what you want and be clear. And then the next thing, Dr. Otto, the next thing, get excited, get excited about the changes that you're going to have. I had to change. All right. So every single year, uh, Mercedes and I know you're a Bentley type of girl, but every year Mercedes actually comes out with a new model. Now, there was nothing wrong with the model the year before. There was nothing wrong with it at all. It was perfect, but they upgraded. They added new features. It's the same vehicle, the philosophy, the foundation. What it does is the same thing, but they upgraded. It is time for you to up. We don't hear you. Oh, you're back. You're back. Okay. You're back. You left there for a second. So, oh, so yes. Yeah. So, 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 but I'm no, it's, it's so sorry. It's time for you to upgrade. It's time for you to upgrade. With this right now, you got to add these features to your practice. You got to add them to yourself. And this is an exciting time because you get to work on yourself. You get to grow. And it's going to be your reach to a different community. Nothing has really changed but external, uh, the external things. People are still people. They still need to be served. They still need to have a higher state of health. And they still need you. They need you. They need you more now than ever. This is a, 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 a pandemic that's going on right now that's, uh, that, that, that deals with a, a, a suppressed immune system. Then you're talking about also, too, stress from a lot of the stuff that we're hearing and looking at, as Billy D would say, on the idiot box. You know, and, and, and they're constantly pumping out these negative things They're constantly pumping out um, things that have nothing to do uh, with us as far as really just humanity thriving. So now you get the opportunity to be the light when it's all dark. So, you know, there's no more lights on. So, you know, you can light a match and be seen so much easier now. But it's how are you looking at the glass, half empty or half full? And, and we hear that a lot, but oftentimes we're looking at the top of the cup and not seeing where we can take a sip. But there's a whole nother section, Otto, and the bottom of the glass sometimes got a little ice in it, so it tastes a little better. You know, the sugar settled down there, Otto, it's, and it tastes so much sweeter down there. So, so it's it's, it's there. You, <laughs> so get so getting that sip. Once I got excited about the new things that were happening, uh, once I got excited about uh, what we could do. I use that enthusiasm and passion to communicate it with people. And I just, all I did was tell people the truth. All I did was tell people the truth about what they could have, uh, what they could do, and how they could actually live. And, 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 not, and now you got a, a, a whole new uh, group of people coming from the woodworks that want what we have. Uh, but we don't want to change. We want to. We want to ride that '86, that '86 uh, Omni, when we could be riding in, in, in high class. So let's upgrade. Let's share let's more. Let's upgrade. give more. Let's you transform know, so we could be better. I, I, I love it. And let's you know what? Congratulations, because change is difficult. Okay. I always when I when I talk to couples yes, during yes. the uh, coaching, I do some gonna get coaching for couples, and they are like, oh, no, because I wish he was like that. I say, honey. How hard is it to change yourself? Mm -hmm. They're like, yeah, it's hard. Okay, so what do you expect to change somebody else? Start with you. And it's just, it starts with you. So if you want to change the outside situation, it starts with changing with you. Innovate. What can I change? What yeah. can I learn? What can I lay go of? And I understand change is hard, okay? Because it is. It has been hard mm -hmm, to change. Mm -hmm. For a lot of chiropractors I've spoken to, it's hard to change your ways. It is hard to change your procedures. It is hard to change your, your time mm -hmm. with people. It is hard. I get it. But when you do yes. you transform, yes. you innovate, you upgrade yourself to this new version, and, and then you are a bigger gift and the gift that we need to be given. So 2020 is almost like a gift that's been given to every one of us. Mm -hmm. So we can take 
the time and the energy to look within, to upgrade, to innovate, to create new and be a bigger gift. And if you have to shift the way you practice, yes. the way you do things, then it's shifting time. It's okay. There's a gift right there, right yes. behind that door. Yes. You're to open, right behind that door of change. There's always a gift. So I love what you said that. And yes, Bentley, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> But when I realized that um, I've always wanted, on a funny note, I've always wanted to have a chauffeur, uh, like somebody to drive me, and a, and a cook, yes. and a personal trainer, and all that. Oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, my God, oh, not yes. Yes. Me my dreams come true, because now my son drives me, helps me in the office, he cooks at home, and he trains me. <laughs> hey, 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 so, my so, goal. So, so, so people get specific with your goals, really down to the T. <laughs> Because I got my dreams come true, but not. And all, all you did, all you did was change the lenses. Change right? the lenses. All you did was adjust the lenses. All you Personal did was adjust the lenses. There we go. Perspective. So you, we are getting some. If you really take step uh, step back a little bit, you will see how many gifts you have gotten from this situation, and how many shifts you have already made within yourself, and what new shifts you can still making to just finish this 2020 with. A bang. Maybe I shouldn't say that, but <laughs> finish it yeah. much <laughs> with a bang, probably. <laughs> that analogy there. But, uh, but right, yeah. Right, right, right. Oh, sorry about that. I'm on a Zoom call. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
see for this. Hey guys, uh, I just lost internet at home and we lost uh, Dr. Frank, um, Dr. Frank bot. So we're going to have to do this again. I just needed to log in on my phone in order to end the broadcast. But thank you so much for watching. Keep sharing. Go check out the ebook conference October 23rd and 24th. I'm going to be speaking there. So I, I look forward to seeing you guys there. Uh, we're going to put the link in the comments below. So share, like, comment, and thank you so much for watching and putting up with this little uh, issue. Uh, the internet uh, just left the house. My son couldn't be online anymore. Uh, nobody could work. This was, yeah, it just it's gone. I don't know what happened to the internet, but uh, thank you so much for watching. Now I'm going to end it because I don't know why we were still alive. Ciao.